Alright everyone, welcome back to your bestiary guide for the Goblin class. So the Goblin class turns into a Goblin Knight and Shadow Goblin. This is for Brigandine, the Legend of Renarsia. So if you want to know all about the Goblin class, we're going to study it and figure it all out right here. So essentially what we got here, if we're looking at the top, I've highlighted the Goblin, which is, um, you know, the little highlight bars moving around it. Uh, you can see how it kind of compares to the Shadow Goblin right now. We've got um, Shadow Goblin is a magic cost of 65. The regular Goblin is 30, so it's a, a, a big jump in difference. And you can see the Goblin compared to the Shadow Goblin. The mobility is 5 with the Shadow Goblin. The mobility is also 5 with the, Shadow, with the Goblin Knight, but the Goblin can only move 4 spaces. Now, there's some other differences here as well. You know, if you want to pause the video and look at the stats, you can. But um, we're going to go over here. We're going to look at uh, some differences here. So basic goblin has poison slash, 20% chance of inflicting poison. It also has paralyzed wave. This is a pre-move and uh, has a 20% chance of inflicting paralyze. So, you know, it does what it says it does. Uh, but if we move up to the, uh, you know, the other one, well, we'll look at that later. But let's look at magic. Goblin has no magic. Abilities of shadow goblin all the way uh, down to goblin is essentially the same. Critical rate up B. Increases chances of lidding, landing critical attacks by 15. So no matter what, it has a, a little bit higher chance of landing critical attacks, which do inflict some of these things, some of these skills that you know we were just talking about. But let's go ahead and uh, look at the goblin knight here. So the goblin knight is gonna look pink. So the original goblin is gonna look green, you know, with a little sword, you know, he looks a little, uh, he looks, I don't know, he looks kind of happy on a battlefield, um, but, it, you know, <laughs> he looks a little silly, I have to say, <laughs> but it's kind of a funny, kind of silly kind of thing, uh, but he's green, they're forest creatures, they're all forest creatures, they like to be in the forest, they get better evasion that way, and all that sort of thing, and you can see the difference between the goblin and the shadow goblin is that we're mostly getting hit points and agility not so much mp probably hardly any mp um not very much intelligence and just a little bit of strength but um let's go to the goblin knight here let's look at some of the uh the stats there but as soon as you upgrade the goblin knight you're going to turn pink and i think your sword also turns pink as as well let's look at the skill here so if we're going to look at some skills in comparison Plague Slash, you know, was a normal attack that they do. Now it has a 30% chance of inflicting poison, so it's a better percent chance. Now, if you want to compare these guys to the original with the original game, this goblin is essentially the new scorpion, except for a lot squishier and a ranged attack. So I think they probably thought, let's make the scorpion again, but let's make it a little bit different. And so they gave it a ranged attack that's free. It's essentially Aya Slash, um, but it's a pre-move and it's not very, very strong. And that would be with the upgraded version as Despair Wave. Now it has a 25% chance of inflicting Paralyze. Now, if we're gonna compare that to the Shadow Goblin at the top, we'll look at that in half a second. Critical rate's the same. We'll go back here. Let's look at the Shadow Goblin. But let's do a little uh, comparison of these two here. So now if we're looking at Plague Slash of the Goblin Knight versus Shadow Slash, you can see how we've gone from 30% chance of inflicting poison all the way up to 50% chance. So this is almost a guaranteed, not really a guarantee, but it's, it's a way better chance than 30% uh, chance, obviously. Now if we're looking at the uh, Despair Wave versus the Reaper Wave, you know, still three ranged radius here. Uh, the difference between the Goblin Knight and a Shadow Goblin is that the Goblin only has a two range of doing their little Ice Slash attack, but um, we go up to Goblin Knight, you have three range, and you have three range with uh, you have three range with Goblin Knight or Shadow Knight. So we're looking at 25% chance of Paralyze, and this one is a 25% chance of Paralyze. Still the same chance of Paralyze. I think that that's a good call. Trying to increase Paralyze a lot would be nuts. Uh, you'd Paralyze the whole team. And now this is also what the Shadow Goblin gets is a new attack called a Badden Wave. And this is a 33% chance of Paralyze. 
But the difference is, is this is not a pre-move. This is based upon using MP. So this is like going back and playing Legend of Forcina and using IS slashes that actually utilize MP to be able to use them. So we'll go into their chart and we'll look at that real quick here. But I just wanted to kind of show you the class some values here. So if we look at the skills here, right? This is going to look a little bit different, but... Um, Let's look at this real fast. So the Shadow Slash, essentially their basic attack. They're just gonna attack them with their sword. 50% chance of doing poison, right? It has 110 power, 11 accuracy, the element of green, and just a range of one, right? We go down to Reaper Wave. It loses 10% power value because it's a ranged attack, has plus one accuracy instead of 11, has the range, has no extra elemental orb to attack with, but it is a one to three, you know, ranged attack here. So that's what we can look at, but it is a pre-move, so you have to be standing there to be able to do it. It doesn't cost you any MP though. So it's basically essentially free. And now if we go down to a Badden wave, we have essentially the same thing as the Reaper wave, except for the fact that it costs MP and it doesn't take a pre-move. So you can walk around anywhere and do this as long as you have the MP to do it. And it'll cost 16 MP, you're like, wow, that's cheap. You know, I could do that all day long. You could, if you have the MP to do it. Now, it depends on your gear right here. I've got this Shadow Goblin here, which is level 30. I have leveled up with my Eliza team. So essentially, if you're looking at, if you're gonna look at this Baton Wave 16, you know, you're only going to be able to do as much as your MP is going to dictate. So, uh, you know, if we're trying to look that, at that as a whole, I believe that's going to be about, like, what, two? Two times? I think. Unless I'm doing that wrong. But I'm just saying, it's it's not going to be very much. You're, you're probably going to get two to three shots with this. So, I mean, this is really cool. It is a stronger power value than the Reaper Wave. It is more accuracy than the Reaper Wave, but it does cost MP. So a lot of times that I'm playing, I will move in, do the Reaper Wave attack where I think it's necessary, set up, or sorry, sorry, do the Abaddon Wave where I think it's necessary, set up, next attack, do Reaper Wave. Then if I want to move again, I move, then I do a bad and wave. So I go back and forth between these two because it seems to be one of the best ways to do it as far as what I can do. But um, I would recommend just being careful with this because one costs MP and one is free. The only difference and the only reason is that this one's free because it's a pre-move. So you have to kind of take that into note. Now, can you equip them with gear and all that to make them a lot better? Yes, you can. Let's see if we can give him some gear that will do some extra stuff. So this one gives us some extra defense here, the hunting knife, plus extra critical rates. So this would give us way better chances of doing all that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't really have... We could look for gear that gives us more MP, though. There could be some chances of that. <laughs> you know, there's intelligence here, there's... There's there's probably some gear that you could put on to give you more MP to be able to do that a lot more. Also look at some of this kind of stuff, and if you put on a full set of whatever, you can see the MP is going to go up just because you get a full set. So if you put on a full set, this one doesn't give us any more MP, but it gives us a lot of green attack plus critical rate. So essentially we got crit rate plus crit rate, <laughs> and it already has crit rate. Um, now we got 70 of 5 MP. So could we walk around, you know, being able to do a bat and wave as much as we want? Yeah, we probably could, but you gotta be careful. You will run out of MP, and then you just gotta do the Reaper wave. So that's the thing you gotta be careful about. You can make a very powerful shadow, shadow goblin, you know, as far as it's concerned. You can make a whole team of this. You just have to have the right kind of gear to be able to do this. But uh, yeah, that's essentially the Shadow Goblin in a nutshell. We'll read its um, little profile here. A Goblin Knight's new form following a clash change, the uncanny glow of its sword eats away at the life force of whatever it slays. It learns an attack that indirectly paralyzes enemies after moving. 
allowing it to break up any more enemy formations. An improved critical rate allows for higher certainty in inflicting status conditions that will easily throw enemy lines into confusion. So essentially with this guy, this guy is kind of like the flanker, sort of like the scorpion from the original game. I'd have to say he's a lot tankier if you can get all the right kinds of gear on him in in a sense because original game you get 140 defense for a scorpion here you can only really get 140 defense with equipment if i unequip all this stuff he's going to be a lot squishier if you keep him in the forest where he prefers to be he'll be more evasive and the fact is once he's at this point he's criticaling people to the point that you can paralyze the enemy and or you can poison them so a whole team of these guys could be quite devastating let me know in the comments down below if you've actually built a whole team of this. I would love to hear about that. That would be awesome. I've, I'm making a few of these guys on my on my main team right now as I'm playing it through Shinobi. So I'm actually trying to work on some of these guys as well. But I'd like to know if anybody out there has made a full team of this. I think it would be awesome to see you know, how successful you could be with this sort of thing. But as, as I've said... This is really all I can do. This is all I can show you. That's all there is. That's all there is, folks. That's all, folks. So thanks for being here. Please smash the like button and subscribe down below. That would help this channel grow. And I will see you in the next bestiary video. I'm going to put some of these videos in their own um, in their own playlist. So I might move that around from the help guides just so you can see all the monsters in a separate category. But thanks for being here, and I hope you had a good one. Take care.